My name is Guy Everard. I'm a sheep and cattle farmer on Exmoor and we installed two Papa pumps three years ago, one last spring and we're about to install our fourth one today. We're looking at here a Blake's Hydram that was put in in 1975 by my father. It's basically operating on 19th century technology. You, you might ask the question, why change this? Every three years or so, we have to um, take out and rebraze the, the central moving part, and that costs 500 quid a, a time. There's a, a rubber valve in there, which is hundreds of pounds to replace. Could be done once a year, sometimes twice a year. That's the first reason, the expense of replacing the, the wearing parts. And then secondly is demand. Stock numbers have increased and therefore we've been looking at ways to get more water to our stock. And that's why we've gone down the route of adding PAPA pumps to our existing water network that was solely powered by this hydram. Now we've added on three and soon to be four PAPA pumps. What I've got here is a cutaway of a PAPA two inch pump and a flow control valve. Um, now, what the interesting thing about this is to differentiate it between the old cast iron pumps. This is a composite material which is basically a 50% fibre and nylon mix. It's very strong, non-corrosive, and it was developed uh, as an engineering material over the last 15 years. I knew quite a lot about the traditional ram pumps and I also knew of the uh, inadequacies that, that, that were in the, in the system. Um, the main problem with the traditional pump is the waste valve. Uh, so what we've got here is a completely redesigned waste valve which uses a venturi effect. So as you can see there's a, a curved surface on the back, rather like an aeroplane wing, gives an aeroplane lift. What happens here as the water flows through it, it accelerates quickly through this small gap causing low pressure on the back which causes the valve to shut very quickly. And from an engineering point of view, a well designed valve should be light with a very small cross sectional area which is what we've been able to manage with this, uh, with this design here. It's clean, cheap way of, of moving water around the farm. So we're, we're very pleased with that. I'm Roderick Hayes of Woodford Witheridge, Tiverton. We farm 160 acres here, 110 head of cattle, and about 400 breeding ewes. We've had the Papa pump for four years now. And uh, now in 2015, in the summer, We've had the flow valve put in. We haven't previously had quite enough water in the summer. It's ideal, we've had enough water. When it builds up, the pump cuts in, then it cuts off when the water drops in the pit, and then it cuts on again, and it must be doing it 30, 40, 50 times a day, I don't know. Really, it's made it 50% more useful for us in the summer. So what we've got here, this is a, a traditional two-inch papa pump. Um, and it's fitted with our new flow control valve, which is here. And how this works is it takes a, a high pressure feed off the delivery line here, and then it goes through a filter, that filters the water. That then goes through this pipe up to the float control valve, which is in the supply tank. And what happens then is as the water in the supply tank drops, the float drops, switches over the valve, which diverts the high pressure water from here into one of these two red control lines and thereby it acts on the top of this diaphragm there which shuts the water off from the pump and then what happens is as the water picks up again in the supply tank the valve flips the other way, diverts the water through the other pipe which puts pressure on the other side of the diaphragm and reopens it again. What it means is that no matter what the flow conditions are the pump will just operate and use the maximum amount of that water that's available. For me here at Witheridge the uh, Papa pump with the flow valve has solved all my water problems, no more water bills, saving me a lot of money, paying for itself very quick, and I think it's a must for most farmers. <laughs>